Hello everybody, Brett here for Topo Ranger. How are y'all doing out there? Today we're in the Holtwood Gorge and I'm standing on a little rocky islet. This is Upper Bear Island. Right there we're looking at the lower part of Peavine Island. Those three kayakers are in the big Pleistocene mega flood pothole right there. I'm trying to get some shots of these guys over here doing some cliff jumping. And what we're gonna do after that is we're gonna, we're gonna head down this channel here and we're really here to investigate this part. There's a sliver of land here. It's about a thousand feet long and 150 feet wide. And it's got a bunch of potholes in it. So we're here to investigate potholes. All right, let's do it. So here we are, we wanna go explore this, but I just briefly wanted to go check out the mega pothole over here, just to see what it looks like coming up on it from, from the water. And there she blows right there. That is the mega pothole. So that's, it's about 30 feet right there. Let's go check this one out. And here's this smaller one that you can see when you're standing behind, behind me over there, looking at the mega pothole. It is, you know, I'd say 15 feet high, five feet wide. And it shows depth. I mean, if we assume that this wasn't here, and it was a it was a fully enclosed cylinder. I wonder if we can poke our uh, paddle in there and see if how steep it goes underwater. All right, so that's, oh, I'm hitting something. It looks like there's a ledge right there. If I can steer myself in properly. Yeah. It goes about five, four or five feet down, and then it hits a rock ledge. Heading right over there. All right, so our first stop is here on the northern tip of this little sliver of land uh, on Upper Bear Island. Is what looked to be, judging from the satellite photography, large potholes right at the end of the, right at the end of the, uh, the nub of the island. There. This is all a curved surface. And then it looks like it went into another one here. There's the lip, there's the scoop. I think my kayak is 10, 10 and a half. It's 10 feet in diameter. Here we go. This is what it looks like backing up into it. Oh, let's sound it. And there's, oh, I'm hitting. It feels like bedrock at a at about what five or six feet of water. Let's do this side. Oh, all right. That one almost takes the whole oar right there. It's almost like a, your own private little swimming hole here. So this is a nice little little alcove here you can get in. If the water was lower and clear, you know, you could see the bottom where the rock is. All right, my GoPro is uh, kind of on the fritz here. So I got the Panasonic, I'm gonna use it handheld. The second pothole right around, right around the corner from the first one we just checked out is right here. And it's shallow enough that you could stand up. It's only about a foot and a half of water in there maybe. And you can see the rock, the bedrock go down right there. I'm wondering if it connects underneath here but let's get up to the top of the island well we made it to the top of the island right here right back here you can see these guys cliff jumping right here there's the mega pothole right there so that's 30 feet right here right here seems to be a lot of big ones clustered in this area right here let's go see what the island looks like There's a trail. All right, so now I am standing on the bald rock face of the tip of the sliver. And over here, there should be water going through. Look at that. This channel here goes on this side, and the other channel goes on that. It's only 150 feet wide at the widest. So here's the first 
the first one we were in that had that little ledge you could kind of <laughs> set up your lunch to get a little picnic there while sitting in your kayak. There's a remnants of another one here. You see that? Here's another angle here. And there's somebody over there. Which I don't know what island that is. I think that's Bear Island too, maybe. I don't know if she's going to jump. Always check for depth if you're going to do cliff jumping. I've seen people jump in, hit something, really hurt themselves. So it always pays to do that. The question is, can we get around here without falling in that hole? This would be really good with, for the GoPro. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have it. Yeah, and if I drop this one in the water, We haven't gone very far. Uh, I keep having to fidget with my cameras and uh, I have my GoPro, is the, 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 the screen is just not working right. So I'm just gonna shoot the rest of this episode with the Panasonic. This right here, I think probably used to be connected. Actually, this one you can actually get down into. <laughs> and there is a, a hole right at, the, right at the bottom. Kind of reminds me of, um, Conewago Falls a little bit, you know? So if we go through here, that's where we, that's where we put the kayak. If you wanted to, you know, lay in wait here by the river as somebody came up the river in a canoe, you know, let's think, you know, back in the, back in the 1600s, you know, with the fur trappers and the traders and the Susquehannocks patrolling up and down, you could sit here in this pothole. And then when you heard somebody come, you know, coming up the channel here, Boom, you pop out, here you are. So again, you hear him? On a count of three, ready? One, two, three. Here we are. Okay, so there's the kayak. It's about 10 feet wide at the top here. Gets as big as 15. And right there, there I think there used to be a bridge. So this, this was a, a giant pothole too. That's one, two, three, uh, that's three potholes so far that are absolutely in league with the mega pothole and with the Peavine mega pothole. And I suspect there's probably more right around this area too. And there is a pothole somewhere up in this general vicinity, which is a, a swim through, which means basically it's be like this, but imagine that this is connected. You can jump in and swim under a natural arch. That is right around here. It might, in fact, be one of the ones we looked at already. It's just that the arch part is underwater. So we, you couldn't actually see it. So you have to come here when the water is lower. All right, let's hit up the kayak. And here we can see one of the giant schist boulders in the process of coming off, right? It's slumped like that, right? Who knows what could bring that down? eventually perhaps another mega flood hear that wind coming through the trees on the island all right here's this big hole of puddles right around the corner you see how that rock comes out i want to get over there but i think there might be a, a cool way to get over here this crack might actually go the whole way through this sliver island make way make way i was right it goes right up in there okay the crack is right there kayaks right there. I think that's it. I think that's the one with the swim through. This is the one I saw from across from over there. But because of the angle, when I was looking from there, I couldn't really see the curvature here. Look at that. If that is, in fact, the curvature of a... <laughs> that's, that's, that's by far the biggest pothole we have. So here we are at the top. And you can see one, two higher level potholes. 
and then you got the second level here. But underneath this right here, there's a curving line. We're talking about a pothole roughly this big at water level. And this itself could just be an alcove of this much larger one. Okay, so this it does connect. Wow. But you can see right there. That's the outlet that goes out. I don't know if this is the one though. I don't know how deep that water is, so I'm not gonna jump in there because I do have my camera. When we get back to the kayak, we can, uh, we can actually just float right in here a little bit, see if we can do that. They had their, they had their dog on the, on the stand-up paddleboard. I don't think the dog's having a good time. Well, this is a really sweet find though. I don't know how deep it is. We'll sound it with the, uh, with the paddle once we get in there. But from the water to the rim here, eight to 10 feet. And then the other rim is about another two, three feet up there. So follow my hand, right? See that curve? Theoretically, it goes out there. We're looking at a, at a 30 foot diameter pothole. Well, let's say 25 to 30 foot diameter. I don't know if this is the one that I saw a picture of a couple years ago. I seem to remember the one, the other one, if there is another one, to be not as deep and wider. But I don't know, this, this might have been it right here. All right, so now we're on the spine. It's the spine of the sliver. There's that, the water, that looks, that water looks mighty swampy. See how brown that water is. I'm getting thirsty. And it's, uh, it's hot out. All right, so why don't we head back up this way, regroup with the kayak, and see if we can get about half of, half of that kayak under that ledge and get a shot looking up. And there's the kayak. All right, it's just me in the shade hanging out with this guy here. The little alcove starts right there. And this is the hole through which we can go into this pothole that we were just looking down. Oh, now that's about as far as I can get. Now I'm gonna put the camera up into it. And that's where we just were. Hello. So that's the hole. Here's the thing. Obviously, if you come here, do your own research. Always, always check it out before you do anything, like jump into a hole and try to swim through another hole or something, you know what I mean? Let's get that bottle, that thing's bugging me. Let's see if we can fish that thing out. You see it in there? It's caught in the, in the it's caught in the eddy there or whatever. So now I have the kayak situated this way so we can get the oar in there and uh, see what we got. I'm hitting bottom there, four feet. And it goes, it goes deeper there though. Yeah, huh. That's gonna wrap it up for this episode. I wasn't having problems with my GoPro. I could film some more, but it's just, the battery is, the battery is all kinds of wonky and my card is full on my Panasonic. I hope you had a good time. If you did, make sure you hit subscribe, ring that bell, follow Topo Ranger on all the platforms that I'm on, all right? As always, loved having you along. And uh, definitely gonna have to come back here. Obviously, right? <laughs> right for Topo Ranger, signing out.